It's a subaquatic smackdown between two ocean predators. Will the orca live up to his name of killer whale? Is the great white shark as fearsome as her reputation? Let's see who swims, smashes, and slashes to the top. It's killer whale versus shark. While there's room in the ring for both predators, fights between great white sharks and orcas are becoming more common due to the continuing shortage of food. When survival is on the line, neither the toothy great white nor the clever killer whale will want to bow out without a fight. Do not free this willy. He's the odious orca. There's a reason why this species is called killer whale. They are some of the most aggressive and deadly animals on Earth. With brains and brawn, this is one formidable foe. Next up, this monster can sniff you out in the darkest of oceans. Give it up for the lightning fast great white shark. These sharks have an incredible ability to smell even trace amounts of blood in the vast ocean. They're stealthy hunters that love snacking on prey ranging from fish to sea lions, but they do have one weakness, and if the orca exploits it, it could deliver a death sentence to these ancient predators. Will we see another sequel to Jaws tonight? Or will the black and white menace live up to its namesake? Stay tuned to find out. Round one, size. Smelling blood in the waters, the hungry great white has entered the area where a killer whale is currently eating his dinner. Weighing in at 2,200 kilograms and measuring seven meters long, this female shark is one of the larger great white specimens. She may be a little too confident about being able to muscle out the killer whale, though. Weighing in at 5,600 kilograms and measuring nine meters long. Looks like the killer whale takes this round, fight fans. Round two, speed. Uh, realizing her mistake, the great white shark begins swimming away, reaching a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Her pointed scales, which are more teeth-like than scale-like, decrease drag and stay stable at high speeds. If you want to get fancy, they're called dermal denticles. While the killer whale can't maintain his highest speed of 48 kilometers per hour for long, he's still gaining on the shark. Look out, folks! The whale is hurling his body through the water, preparing to impact the shark. Round three, feeding habits. There have been cases of killer whale versus shark action before, and we've got some bad news for our great white. In most cases, the killer whales win. Apparently, these black and white monsters find shark livers Quite a delicacy. It seems the killer whale has decided to have his cake and eat it too. Even if the shark were to turn around and face the whale, the only advantage she would have are her rows of teeth. They're sharp, but they may not cut it if the killer whale rams into her with his full force. What's this? The shark dives straight into the dark depths of the ocean. Unlike killer whales, which stay within one kilometer of the surface, great whites go slightly deeper, about 1.1 kilometers below the surface. It might not be much, but the great white is banking on the orca needing to go up for air. Oh, but it's too late! Piercing through the dark, using his superior eyesight and echolocation capabilities, the killer whale dashes in with a finishing blow. Swimming victorious is our maximal mammal, the killer whale! Can the great white shark redeem herself? 
Next time, she'll be swimming into another deep sea death match to take on the octopus. We'll see who wins on the next round of Versus.